So we now have our Topaz workbench set up with the eGit plugin, Eclipse plugin, and we can now start looking at storing our Topaz to Total Test unit test projects within local and remote Git repositories. So to begin with, let's open up Topaz Workbench. As you can see, I have my Git repositories and Git staging views included in my perspective. And I have a Topaz to Total Test unit test project defined that I wish to manage within Git. ALJO carb underscore dit git underscore demo. Now, before you start processing TTT projects within Git, you need to know that the way that Git works, when you push or commit a project into a repository, Git will analyze that project. And if it's got any empty directories within that project, by default, it will ignore them. Now, the suites subdirectory inside a TTT project to begin with, it generally has nothing in it, but it is required to be there when you use that project within a Jenkins pipeline. So you need to populate suites with a default entry to make sure that it's present in the version of that project stored in the Git repository. So to do that, right click, go new, suite, give it a name, Call it default suite entry. Go next. Choose the scenario you wish to add. Move it over. Click next. Click finish. And now you've populated the default value into that suite's directory, so we know it will be included when we move it into the repository. So in order to get our project managed by Git, we first need to move it into a local Git repository. Once it's in the local Git repository, we can then move it over to a remote Git repository such as GitHub or Bitbucket. So to move this into a local repository, Highlight the project name, right click, go down to team and share project. From there, choose Git and click next. Then give the repository a name that we're going to refer to. Click on create, click on browse, and from within the default path for Git repositories, Create a new folder, for this repository we'll call it uh, ALJO COB local and call it demo. Choose that, click OK, click finish and then click finish again. And now you can see that we have an entry created in our Git repository list for ALJO Cobb local demo. That's our repository name. And you can see on the project explorer up here, the project has right facing chevrons associated with its entries. This indicates that the project is available to be moved into the local repository, but has not yet been done so. Now, in order to be able to do that, we need to stage that project and then commit it into the local repository. As you can see down here, we currently have nothing in our repository. So, if we highlight the repository name and then take a look at the Git staging view, you can see that we have 
unstaged changes. Now, this represents, in this case, the entire project, which we have yet to move into the repository. To do this, the simplest way of doing it is to click on Add All Files, including not selected ones, to the index. Basically, what this is doing is staging the entire project into an area where we can then commit that project to the local repository. You can do these one at a time simply by highlighting them and choosing the plus sign. But I'm going to click on the double plus to do everything. Now we've staged it over into an area that allows us to commit that project into the local repository. And firstly, you need to give a message about why you're doing this to Git. This is something that Git insists you do. So we are storing aljocob git demo to git local repo. Now, once we've got that set up, you have two options here, commit and commit and push. Now commit will commit that TTT project to the local repository. Commit and push is an option where if you've got your remote repository set up, you can directly push that project into your remote Git repository. We haven't set that up yet, so I won't be using that button. I'll just commit it. You can see the changes have moved out of staged. If we now look, we can see that our project has now moved into the master branch of the Git local repository. If I go to history, for that repository I can see here, I've moved it over. So I've created my repository, I've populated that repository with the project I'm interested in managing. But you can still do things to your project as you had done previously using Topaz Workbench. So I, for example, I could open up my test scenario and I could modify it, change the check criteria, for example, save that away. But now I've done that change, if I go back to my Git staging area, I can now see that there are changes ready to be moved into the local repository. And you can see again the right facing chevrons indicating that changes have been done. So, similarly as before, I can either commit single changes or I can do all of them at once, which I'm going to do. Put those to the staging area, click commit. I haven't put the message in there, so I'll put the message in there. Change to check condition now equals four. Commit. And we now have that change to this project stored inside my local repository. Now, to take this further, if I want to be able to check out TTT unit tests into a Jenkins pipeline, I need to be able to put my local project into a remote GitHub, in this case, GitHub repository. Now, to do that, first of all, I obviously need a GitHub repository, or it could be Bitbucket just as easily, that I can move my project into. So you can go in and create uh, an account either in GitHub or in Bitbucket. They're both free. And it both they both work in similar ways in terms of how you create a repository. Once you've got your account, you simply go in and say, I want a new repository. You give it a name, so we'll call it ALJOCOB demo. 
rep one. Once I've given it a name, I can simply click on create repository. And it gives me in GitHub a lot of information about what I can do from the command line. But for what we're doing in Topaz Workbench, all I need to know is the URI which I use to get access to this repository, which is given here. So if I simply copy that to a clipboard, I can then store that in a note. Pop that in there. Save that away. Now, once I've got that recorded, I can return to my Topaz Workbench and then define that remote GitHub repository to my Workbench environment. 